Yo, welcome back to my Midnight Spook Show here on the Horror Metal Channel. I'm Lord Hellhound, and we're going to do another tag video today. Okay, bye. Have a good day at work. Okay. Um, anyway, uh, okay, so this is um, the Three from the Grave tag. Three from the Grave, of course, is a collaboration between... Lisa Loves, Movie Massacre, and Strange Monkey. It's kind of like the blood spatter trio that I used to do with uh, my buddies Sean Urshin and Bronco Juggalo. Although, Three from the Grave came first, and uh, they probably did it better, so, you know, whatever. But anyway, uh, they created a new channel called Three from the Grave, and their first video was this tag video. So anyway, there's three questions. Um, I was tagged by Sean Urshin. Let's go and get started. Question number one was, um, what horror character are you most like or admire? Uh, well, <laughs> Uh, I suppose it's probably really cliche to say uh, Ash Williams from the Evil Dead trilogy, played by Bruce Campbell. Um, maybe that's the one I most, I wish I was most like, you know. Uh, I greatly admire him, he's my favorite horror protagonist, but of course I'm not nearly as badass or as cool or anything as the chainsaw arm, shotgun-toting slayer of deadites who spits wisecracks and is just too damn cool for his own good. Uh, yeah, I'm not as cool as him, but then again, who is? Um, but realistically, I'd probably be more like Randy Meeks, the horror-obsessed uh, movie buff from the Scream movies, um, Scream 1 and 2, played by uh, Jamie Kennedy. Yeah, Randy, he even worked in a video store. His uh, extensive knowledge of horror is just uh, unparalleled. All he does is watch movies. Movies are his life, much like me. Um, I'm very much like him. I'm, a, I'm definitely a big-time geek, and uh, my head is filled with extensive, vast, uh, endless, useless information, you know, I'm just full of facts that, you know, aren't going to get me anywhere in life, <laughs> unless it became like a movie director or a writer or actor or something, which is, would be really cool, but uh, yeah, I'm probably most like Randy, realistically, even though I'd rather be like somebody like Ash, but, oh well, I like being a geek, I like being into movies, so, you know, uh, and that, that was uh, Lisa Love's question, by the way. The, each, each, uh, <clears throat> each of these three questions was done by a different uh, member of the Three from the Grave. Okay, so the second question, which was asked by Movie Massacre, is... If you were a slasher icon, what would your look be? And what would your weapon of choice be? Well, I've given this a lot of thought. And I've written a lot of stories about um, making my own slasher villains. So many of them. They usually start with a, a scrawny, weakling nerd who's picked on in school. He's got, like, the big, huge glasses and orange hair and freckles, and he's just a total weakling, and, you know, he's scrawny and wears geeky clothes, and he's picked on, and then something happens, whether he's killed or, or, or gets possessed or something, and he becomes a mus an awesome, uh, muscle-bound badass, and he gets revenge on his tormentors and starts killing people in various gruesome uh, ways. He butchers all of his former bullies and... Uh, just massacres everybody who who deserves to meet um, their fate. So that's the kind of the so I've written a lot of characters like that. So uh, I think that's who I'd want to be. And I guess my look would be my post uh, whatever the accident would be. Either I'm killed and I'm resurrected, or or something. I fall in some chemicals, or you know, or some reanimation serum, or something, um, or some kind of demonic black magic spell has been cast on me. I think I would. Transform. I'd be really muscle bound and tall and hulking, and I'd had wear a black sleeveless tank top, um, army pants, uh, camouflage camo army pants, black combat boots, and I would wield two uh, huge double meat cleavers. Um, I, would, I would have double the weapons. I would keep them in a holster on my back. I'd pull them out, like, you know, and kill people in dark alleyways. And I'd wear a, a like a ski mask, kind of similar to Jason, but I wouldn't really look anything like Jason other than the mask, like a white ski mask, kind of like the one Casey Jones wears from Ninja Turtles, uh, you know, I have my hair down, you know, uh, that's the mask, so it's kind of looked like, kind of looked like Casey Jones, but I think my skin would be like gray and rotting, even though I'd still be really buff, um, and I'd just go around punishing people, I'd be more of a vigilante, I'd kind of punish people who deserve it, I'd go around slaughter rapists and pedophiles and murderers and even thieves and just, uh, you know, bullies, you know. People who deserve scumbags, low lives, that go around, you know, being kind of an undead avenger, a killer of killers. Um, but yeah, that's what I'd be. I'd be covered in blood all the time. It'd be awesome. 
All right, so question number four. What movie monster... This one was asked by Strange Monkey. Um, what movie monster would be most difficult to get away from? Well, I agree with Sean Urshan's answer, a werewolf. Um, you know, I mean, if you're in the woods and there's a werewolf around and you hear it howling and coming towards you, you're pretty much screwed unless you have a silver bullet. Um, so yeah, don't walk in the woods during a full moon. Um, <laughs> and steer clear of the moors. Um, but, you know, uh, just to not copy him, I'll, you know, there's others like, you know, maybe Pumpkinhead or, you know, The Thing or The Predator. But I think I'm going to go with the Xenomorph. I think that that's difficult because what can the hell can you do against a Xenomorph? I mean, I know humans have obviously beaten them before, like Ripley, you know, but that's a Gertie Reaver. Um, she's beaten countless Xenomorphs, um, which makes her so, so mad, so much more badass. But, I mean, if you stab it, it bleeds acid blood. So it's like, damn, you're pretty much... You know, you're pretty much doomed no matter what you do. So if you're in a space station or even on Earth or wherever, there's a xenomorph around and you're not armed to the teeth. Um, even if you are, you're pretty much doomed, you know. Uh, but people have gotten lucky against them before, so, so this is possible. I'd still say it's probably the monster um, that's difficult to get away from. Also the blob. The blob. Because it can only be killed by being frozen. So if you don't have a CO2 fire extinguisher or something capable of freezing things or generating ice, then... Uh, I think the blob would be really scary, you know, it would dissolve your flesh slowly, it would be a horrible way to die, and it would be really hard to get away from it. Um, so yeah, there's a lot, so those are my top five, I guess, the blob, xenomorph, pumpkin head, uh, alien, I mean, uh, predator, and uh, a werewolf. <laughs> so, I, didn't narrow, I, couldn't, I couldn't narrow it down to just one, those are the five, I think the worst one would be the xenomorph, probably. Um, all right, guys. Well, uh, I'm Lord Hellhound. Definitely check out uh, Lisa Love's channel. Check out Movie Massacre. Check out Strange Monkey. And check out their new channel, Three from the Grave. Check out their uh, Three from the Grave show that they do. Um, I'd love to get the Blood Spatter trio uh, going again, but I totally understand if uh, Sean's not up to it yet. Or maybe something like that going to be cool. You know, we had the horror hangouts, which uh, Lisa Loves and Movie Massacre are also a part of. Uh, I think Strange Monkey was there. There's so many different people, like a countless revolving door lineup, so I can't really keep up. And I was only in it for two or three episodes, um, I wasn't in it the whole time, so, uh, but it's really cool, all these collaborations, and I'd love to be part of one again, so, if anybody's interested, hit me up, you know, um, now that I have a little more free time, hopefully it stays that way, I've been a busy guy lately, um, all right guys, yeah, check out the original Chag, check out Sean Urshan's channel, he's the one Chag Me, uh, thank you for watching my Midnight Spook Show, Creature Feature, Shockathon, and Screamo Vision, um, so stay tuned till the next ghastly grimoire here on the Horror Metal Channel, I'm Lord Hellhound, Later.